works for you begins right now with breaking news. And now at five breaking news, law enforcement forced to kill a man after a terrifying encounter at a convenience store near North Tulsa. Deputies say they had no choice but to open fire after they witnessed the man going into the super stop at 48th Street North armed with two knives. It's a story two works for you has been following since the beginning and we have live team coverage tonight starting with our reporter Ashley Holt who is live in North Tulsa where the deadly event unfolded. Ashley. <laughs> Brian, this all started around 10 o'clock this morning when two sheriff's deputies and one police officer went to go serve a civil pickup order. Now, everything after that is under investigation. My son was not a violent person. He didn't have a violent bone in his body. Amongst a street full of police and deputy cars, an angry community, and the place where her son took his last breath, Etta by Ray is able to find the words to express her pain. I'm a school teacher myself, so I don't teach violence. I teach love and patience and understanding. She says her son Joshua Anthony by Ray had mental health problems. And it was just time for him to get his medication. Tulsa police say around 10 this morning, two sheriff's deputies and one Tulsa police officer went to by Ray's home to serve a mental health pickup order signed by a judge, something the sheriff's department said it had tried to do multiple times before. At some point, this individual gets mobile, he's walking, He's armed with two knives. Byray made it to this convenience store. Uh, at some point, uh, the officers, as well as the deputies, uh, used deadly force and fired on the subject. Byray later died at a nearby hospital. Police can't confirm how many shots were fired. So there's a lot of thought that goes into uh, any type of incident where you're uh, kind of confronting someone that's potentially armed and dangerous. Well, you have to take a lot in for uh, the safety of uh, the person you're trying to take into custody. Uh, the safety of uh, innocent bystanders, as well as officer safety. He felt like they was threatening him because they. He always felt like they had picked on him because they have arrested him other numbers of times because nothing. He, he didn't do anything. But God is sitting high and he and looking he low. He see everything. He, he, he high and he look at everything. The Tulsa Police Department is the lead agency on this investigation. However, we, the people of Oklahoma, are calling on the mayor and the chief of police to bring in the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to take the case. Police are asking anyone who witnessed the incident to call them and give a statement. Reporting live from North Tulsa, Ashley Holt, Two Works For You.